Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're gonna compare three different laptops from three different years from Apple. We're gonna check how well they have improved on those laptops in terms of performance. I was honestly stunned by the results of this test. So I assure you, you'll want to stick around until the end of the video. And I'm also going to answer the biggest question, which laptop is the best value for money? A huge competition. So let's right dive into it. Okay, so let's start the competition. First one is Lightroom. And I just gotta say, it, the results were pretty incredible, I'm not gonna lie. So you have M1 Max, M1 in the middle, and 2019 MacBook on the right, and the test is commencing. So 171 photos, and the MacBook M1 Max has already done an incredible job. M1 was really not far from it, but the, the the one that was really struggling was 2019. Not sure what was the problem, uh, but as you can see, the results speak for themselves. Photoshop was a little bit different because M1 Max and M1 were identical when it comes to opening. 2019 was quite struggling. Final Cut Pro, I know it is very optimized for MacBooks, so it was incredible to see the results. So this is just a short, simple YouTube video that I made. And M1 Max have, has exported in two minutes. Uh, and I was actually exporting it the second time because the results seemed quite unreal, at least for me. M1 was about five minutes, which is quite understandable. 2019 was six minutes, which is okay. When it comes to the sound and the noise test, um, the two MacBooks on the left, so M1 Max and M1, were silent. The reason why M1 was a little bit louder here is because the phone is picking up from 2019, but the fans were spinning like crazy. I'm not going to lie on the 2019. It's just different processor, different infrastructure, so there you go. Opening Premiere Pro was an interesting one because M1 has actually opened <laughs> quicker than the M1 Max. So there you see, uh, it's it's quite incredible, but 2019 was really struggling in this test as well. I mean, not really struggling, but you get what I mean. I also exported a, a podcast video, uh, which was about 30 minutes long. Um, and I got to say, all the laptops were quite fast, when it comes to the editing, that was not a, a huge problem. M1 Max was four minutes, M1 was five minutes, um, and then the 2019 struggled a little bit at the end, so eight minutes 25. Advert video, as you can see, M1 Max just smashed the competition right away uh, from everywhere. 2019 was 25 seconds, so not that bad. However, uh, M1 was 55 seconds. I restarted the test again, I ran it through again, and then we got uh, just slightly better results. All right, guys, so the results are in, and we finally know who is the winner of the competition. M1 Max is a clear winner. However, when it comes to value for money, M1 seems to be the best spot. In all of the tests, M1 wasn't really lagging that much in comparison to M1 Max. I wouldn't consider the 2019 MacBook because you can clearly see that the new chips are really, really powerful. The M1 Max has 32 gigs of RAM as well, and the M1 only has eight. So it does show you that you don't really need to spend a lot of money to get amazing performance. For majority of the people, M1 is going to be the best choice. It costs around $1,000 and you really can't go wrong even with base specifications. M1 Max is definitely a beast and it's not gonna let you down when you need this extra power. And as you can see, M1 Max was not three times faster than M1, but it actually does cost three times as much. So if you want fair amount of performance for a fair amount of money, I would suggest going for M1. I was honestly not expecting such results. I thought M1 Max would crash the M1 in all the competitions. However, the results were not that fast. Of course, it's fast, there's better battery, but you also need to take into account that it costs three times as much. 16 inch is definitely better in terms of the screen size because it's gonna be easier to edit videos in Premiere Pro, on Photoshop, in all of the different applications. It's important to remember that laptops with M1 chips have really good battery. The M1 MacBooks have exported all the videos on full battery and there was still something left. 
However, 2019 was really struggling, we had to plug it in because we was running really low. So there we go guys, I'm really happy with the performance that Apple has been giving us constantly upgrading laptops, but you need to know which laptops are going to be the best for your specific needs. I hope this video helped you understand the differences between those laptops throughout the years and you're gonna make a reasonable decision. Comment down below which laptop you would go for. I would love to know your opinion. But thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.